Hey, I'm a person of the world. It doesn't matter my identity. If you look at some of my videos from the past, you know who I am, you know my face. But it doesn't really matter. It's all about the message behind the person. Because it's the reason that I'm still on the outlier, still on the beginnings of starting my business. Can't find funding even from big name black celebrities or philanthropists even with all my amazing and great ideas but today I would like to talk to you about the dangers and potential dangers of GMOs I have actually contacted the news organizations a while back but you know big funny big money trumps human lives normal people lives the lower class and should there be a lower class I think not but we live in a capitalist society where your value is placed on how much you can earn and how much people can earn off you they ought to give you pocket change compared to what you're worth we're all economic slaves alright so a while back I realized that most of our foods, vegetables, fruits, they're genetically modified organisms, GMOs, are really, really dangerous. Not for the reasons that they're telling you about, but for the reasons they're not telling you about. So, GMOs, or some of our basic agricultural foods, which the US government and FDA does not think should be labeled or we should even be aware that we're eating are uh, potentially carcinogenic and are killing everyone I don't eat much vegetables much anything that's why I'm so skinny but GMOs have been made so that they make their own pesticides the farmers no longer have to spray them but will bite it die or realize that they should not eat it because bugs are becoming more and more immune to all our basic pesticides and this will increase the likelihood because it's in the food but the fact that it's in the food and it's killing and changing insects mean it's doing the same thing to you. People and workers have had tremendous negative health effects from coming in close contact with pesticides that they spray on the crops that we eat. They have to wear like hazmat and protective clothing not hazmat um, clothing that's for dangerous stuff that would actually cause alarm if they walked around in hazmat suits spraying chemicals on our farms and vegetables and stuff but they have to wear protective clothing and people have gotten seriously injured from the chemicals they spray on the crops but like I said, now it's actually in the food, so you can't wipe it off, you can't wash it off with water. It's actually made into the very food you eat, so you're exposed on it on a macro, um, micro level, but also on a macro level as it's in a lot of the products we eat. Now, the dangers of this is the same problem that they ran into with PCBs. PCBs, they learned later on, right before I left college, like 2010, 2011, that they could become airborne from plants. They could come through the pores, through uh, transpiration, where uh, plants spray in water from the soil and the air. And uh, PCBs can be absorbed in plants and released that way. So, potentially, a potential danger that someone should totally study and give me credit for giving you idea is 
if these same chemicals that we use to attack the plants, I mean not attack the plants, you attack weeds, that's, that's herbicides and stuff, but the same, some plants make herbicides like dandelions and other weeds. I said that was a great idea to breed into our food crops would be like herbicides or keep away other plants that you might not want right now on a farm and it make them more hardy cross breeding with weeds make plants and vegetables grow really really fast and everywhere it will change their hardiness and everything it will be great if you breed corn all our agricultural products with weeds but not weed like you smoke that will be cool too but other type of weeds but with these pesticides have started getting the pollen if they're in the pollen if it's found out that pesticides and other dangerous components are in pollen of plants then we'd be breathing it in every spring breathing in carcinogens it'd be worse than smoking cigarettes so they'll be very dangerous and it'll be a hot topic if it came out as well true because you have to breathe very dangerous